Hello and welcome back to another video with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This time a quick news video talking about a visit that Yoshi P did to Mazamune server. Now this took place on the Japanese servers and as such it was in Japanese, but thankfully Luna from the translation team on the official subreddit Discord for Final Fantasy XIV, which there'll be a link to in the description, we have a full translation of essentially a summary of what happened with those questions and the corresponding answers from the producer and director himself, Naoki Yoshida. So without further ado, let's look at some of these points. The first one is a big one that attracted my attention and got me quite excited, and that Yoshida hinted at a possible Namazu costume during these questions. This then could be one of the rewards from the final chapter of the Beast Tribe quest from Stormblood. If you remember, they usually do a wrap-up storyline, which is confirmed to combine all of the Beast Tribes together from Stormblood for a last quest. The rewards are usually a combined dance or some minions or any of the above, but the idea that we're hinting at a possible Namazu costume in-game, well this could easily be the reward from this new quest line. I for one would love to be a Namazu, I think that's probably the top of my new hype list. In other news, they apparently explored the idea of adding hairstyle mirror flipping but gave up because it became too difficult. They also want to expand Mirage Plate changing areas, but they're going to be adding more Mirage Plates first, but they'll be applying this much later in a subsequent patch in the 5.x series, much later after the expansions launch, out of fear of server load concerns. Exterior furniture slots are set to increase, also planned for that 5.x featured patch, and apparently they're going to be dealing with the faux requiem threat problem in 5.0. In another area, they're going to make it possible to know which legendary gathering node books you already own in 5.0 or 5.x series, because currently it's not very clear in the game until you go through all of those logs, and they want a short answer to that question every time you need to check, which could possibly lead to a new sort of page with all of the unlockables listed for other things as well. Apparently they're going to be revisiting Diadem in 5.x series, which is a massive surprise and I honestly thought they had given up on the idea of Diadem after they basically sacked it and uh, sort of used that technology in Eureka, but apparently they're not done with Diadem, which um, is either a positive or a negative depending on your sort of outlook I suppose, but that's interesting. Apparently they can't change the layout or size of house interiors, plots or housing areas due to design constraints. Apparently people kept asking for changes to those, with some speculation here from Luna about how it might be to do with furniture coordinates and how they're saved server side. And that pretty much wraps up this translation of the questions and answers that took place on Mazamune server on the Japanese data center. So some interesting points from this, obviously the Namazu are key in my mind as a replacement for the potential dream one day of it actually being a playable race. But there's some interesting points there as well, especially with ideas for 5.x. I certainly didn't think that uh, Diadem would be on their list of things they would even consider to revisit, but I guess it has to be because it's currently in the game and nobody really has access to it or you know, uses it for anything meaningful, it's a bit of a disaster. And there are some items that are from Diadem, such as the Brachiosaur minion that admittedly you can get elsewhere now, but that's not really the answer. But I'm not sure it's something that needs as much attention as uh, perhaps they're going to give it. Hopefully with a bit of the Eureka technology they've learnt though, they can do something decent with it. But either way, let me know what you think about this and all of the other points we touched on today in the comment section, your own opinions, and I'll indeed see you all next time.